Uh, we're going to begin with that breaking news we mentioned off the top from Ukraine, where deadly Russian attacks forced civilians to run for their lives this morning in the capital city of Kyiv, as multiple blasts ripped apart busy neighborhoods. Photographers captured these images on your screen now of a so-called suicide drone. It's an unmanned aircraft which is designed to explode on impact. Holly Williams has the latest now on these terrifying aerial attacks. For the second time this month, city streets in the center of Ukraine's capital have been pummeled. Russia's repeatedly denied targeting civilians, but this neighborhood is jam-packed with apartment buildings, schools and restaurants. Ukraine says the Russians used so-called suicide drones, which explode on impact, causing devastation. The U.S. says Iran has agreed to sell several hundred of them to Moscow. Today's attack comes after Russia claimed over the weekend that Ukraine shelled the city of Belgorod, just over the border, with civilians wounded. And in eastern Ukraine, where the front line extends for around 1,500 miles, there's been more deadly fighting. Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, claimed last night that Russia has deployed 2,000 former prisoners to fight there, calling it state-sponsored terror. In the early weeks of Russia's brutal invasion, Moscow's forces moved on Kyiv. The Ukrainian resistance, though, took the world by surprise, forcing the Russians to retreat and redirect their attacks to the east of the country. But after Ukraine blew up a bridge in territory occupied by Russia this month, vitally important for the Russian military, Moscow retaliated by again targeting the Ukrainian capital. On Saturday, Moscow says two of its soldiers shot and killed 11 other service members while they were training at a firing range inside Russia. The Russian authorities are calling it a terrorist attack. This comes as Russia continues its push to mobilize 300,000 reservists to beef up its forces in Ukraine. Michelle. Holly Williams, thank you.